Bring your connection with you. Connect from anywhere with the portable client generator. The client generator can be accessed on the server tile of the admin tool or with the shortcut that was created on your desktop during installation. It enables you to create three types of connection clients which can be copied to the user's desktop or onto a USB stick for portable use. Customization is also possible by changing the icon and the connection client program name. When you launch the client generator, the first tab displayed is the General tab. Here you will find all of the essential connection settings that you need to get started. Server Address Enter the IP address of the server you would like the client to connect to. Port Number Enter the server port number. The default is 3389. Username and Password If you enter a username and password, the client program will not ask the user to retype it at each session. To reset username and password saving, you must create and edit a shortcut of the remote desktop client and add the reset switch at the end of the target field. Credentials If you don't want to save credentials, Enter No Save Credentials in the Logon field of the Portable Client Generator. If you don't want to display the logon window with the username, password, and domain name, simply enter No Password in the Password field. If you want to enable Auto Logon, type star SSO in the Username field. The client program will only ask for the username and password during the very first connection. It will save this information on the user's workstation so that the user doesn't have to identify himself ever again. Domain Name Enter a domain name if you have one. Preferred Display Mode You can choose your preferred display mode from the following options. Classic Remote Desktop, which uses the classic Microsoft Remote Desktop to display your remote session environment. The Microsoft Remote App Connection Client for displaying your remote applications as if they were installed locally. You can change the remote app client display and printing preferences on the web tab of the admin tool. The seamless client works the same as remote app, but for older versions of Windows, such as Windows XP and Server 2003. Network speed you can choose between two options depending on your network speed. You can disable background display and graphics animations for low speed networks, or you can enable background display and graphics animations for fiber optic and fast networks. Client name. You can name your client as you wish. Client icon. You can upload an icon for your client. Display. On this tab, you can change the color and session screen resolution. You can also adapt your session for dual screens with or without span. The span option allows you to stretch your session across both screens. You can allow the use of the tab key within the session. Remote Desktop Client Features On this tab, you can choose which resolution you want to enable for the user. You can check the boxes to enable smart sizing of the remote desktop and if you want the remote desktop not to hide or overlap the local taskbar. Local Resources The Local Resources tab gathers all the devices that you may redirect in your remote session. Printers correspond to LPT ports and COM ports correspond to serial ports. Below. You can choose your options for printing with the Universal Printer. Local PDF Reader Preview The document will be rendered as a PDF and the local Acrobat Reader will open the file. The users can print it or save a copy to his local disk drive. See our video tutorial on how to preview documents with the local PDF Reader. Print on the user's default printer The document will be automatically pushed to the user's default printer the local print driver is included in the TS Plus Connection Client. See our video tutorial on how to print on the default printer. Select a local printer. The user can select one of his local printers 
the local print driver is included in the TS Plus connection client. If you do not have a PDF reader installed on your machine, we recommend the use of Foxit Reader. Programs You can set a startup application via the portable client generator. However, we recommend that you use the admin tool to assign the desired applications. Security TS Plus offers two layers of physical security to keep your user's connection safe. The connection can be locked to the ID of a USB key, locked to a computer name, or you can use both layers of security simultaneously. If locked to a USB key, the user can initiate a connection from any qualifying Windows computer by inserting the USB key and using the connection program placed there by the administrator. If locked to a computer name, the user can only successfully connect from a computer whose name has been registered with the server for that user's portable connection. If both security options are used, the user is limited to connecting from their specific device and only if the correct pre-configured USB key is in place. You can define the time limit from the first use date of a generated client by entering the value of the time limit in the time limit box, which is by default set to no limit. The box below enables you to not display the ability to save credentials for a generated client. Gateway Portal You can also enable load balancing to connect to one server of your farm. Do not check the Use Gateway box if you did not activate the load balancing feature on your server. You will need to enter the Gateway Web Portal port, which should be the same as the default web port used on all the servers of your farm. For more information about the Gateway Portal, load balancing, and reverse proxy, check out our documentation.